Today is the most important day in my life. Hmm. The happiest day in my life. I can repeat it in a million times. Because the spirit of whom they carried behind this campaign, this campaign, they cannot fail in Jesus' name. We've come to uh, to pay a visit to the family of the iconic Nigerian Bar Association president, Alao Aka Basharu, who was president of the association 1987 to 1989. I'm so moved. Um, I have hope for Nigeria. It is clear uh, that Shino Ogunlano is an amazing human being. I met him at that time before my father passed. They came to visit in solidarity. And then he had the newspaper, the scribe. And of course, he, in the newspaper, he, he, I, he touched he, he, many issues that were no-go areas. The scribe was dealing with it. But eventually, when I now saw him as the chairman of the branch, uh, Ikeja branch, I'm saying this because he's not a stranger to activism. He's not a stranger to what you call radical, radical change. And we knew, remember very well the story of in Lagos with Land Use Act. Very, very unpopular act. Very, very unpopular policy. And out of the blue, he stood up. And I was scared for him then because there was nothing the government of the day did not do. Not only to cow him down, they tried to even frame him. And I was scared for him. But when I saw him on the streets, I said, this is the future of Nigeria. We have been visiting the family. We came here first in January to meet Mama and our comrade. And that's the family that Comrade Shego, Akabashon. Elections will be July 24, God willing, as scheduled by the leadership of the association. We've taken our forms, we've submitted the forms. We are waiting for the screening, we are waiting for the election. And we feel that it's okay to come to see Mama and brief her. Well, Nigerian Bar Association at the national level, uh, well, you must be multi-billionaire or trillionaire because to, to become some, to, to get that position, we understand now, uh, you must be backed by, you know, wealthy, uh, you know, chairpersons of multinationals. It will depend on what you mean by multi-billionaire. <laughs> if you are thinking of multi-billionaire in the idea of cash, we are not. But if you think in terms of our heart, our doggedness, our patriotism, our readiness to shed our blood and lay down our lives for this country, we are more than multi-billionaires. Yes. Ideas rule the world. So uh, are you trying to bring back the era of Alawa Kabashan radicalism uh, at the bar? Yes, exactly. Aluta. We make no bones about that. There's a serious need, serious need to engage the leadership of this, of this country. Most of them are in power corruptly. They rig elections. They don't have the mandate of the people. And the ones that do not rig elections are not even any better than the ones who rig the election because government is supposed to be a social contract between the people and people are ruling them. But in Nigeria, they cater only for themselves, neglecting, giving crumbs to the masses of the people and impoverishing us. And so, we cannot, when you do that, you cannot have a society. When you do not have a society, you cannot have lawyers. When you do not have lawyers, you have chaos. So what's your confidence level, especially with respect to getting support or endorsement from, or votes from lawyers, the present crop of lawyers we have in Nigeria, what are they by? They are, they are our colleagues. Lawyers say they have a noble profession. And we believe it's a noble profession. If you are a member of a noble profession, then you must think like a noble. What is the noble way to go? There is the general Nigerian way of doing things, uh, money for hand, back for grand, electorally. But we have been touching our people. And you are talking of lawyers who are not just educated and enlightened. People think it's not doable, it's doable. Our members are reasonable. We want to join journalists, we want to join doctors, we want to join engineers, we want to join everybody who know that Nigeria is in trouble to take Nigeria out of the quagmire. Mm -hmm. And they know it. Lawyers know themselves know they know it. They know it because, see, they have shut their courts down since March. We've not been able to practice. We've not had this bad before. If you see lawyers now, just one issue is Nashakarao, they're angry. 
the shakara, you shakara, if you don't go to court, 90% of lawyers are litigators, they are advocates. And so, and it's because of the mismanagement, an example of mismanagement of the country, because COVID-19 pandemic experience in Nigeria does not warrant the shutdown of the economy the way these people have done. It's part, just an, a, a classic example of how the country has been mismanaged. And so, whether you say you are brilliant, whether you say you have a very rich library, whether you say you have a rich range of clientele, where do you practice when your market, the costs have been shut down? When people have been talking before, hey, we we'll work from home, work from home, which, 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 even when we are working out of home, we raise the money in the battered economy. Now that they go, if some people just go to, if they go to chambers now, it's just to read newspaper and feel good. <laughs> Not, and that's the truth. Where is the Zoom technology? How can it work? You know, about five weeks ago, they say, hey, but I started it. Lagos has started it. What? Lagos has amended. Say, Look, it's only for judgment. So, you can't do retrial, and the chief judge very sensibly said it's not even part of that madness. It's not working. Technology does not hang in the air. It, it operates in an environment. What's the environment? This country needs to be revamped. We are not arguing for ourselves. We are arguing for everybody. And in, it is in the interest of even the lawyers themselves. What is your relevance of, as a lawyer when there is chaos? Can anybody practice law in San Vista Forest? If they set up a high court and they give a lawyer a lawyer two billion dollar brief, can you go to Zambisa and move a motion? Nibo, it is the use gun to move motion in Zambisa Forest. In Casina State, where see what happened in Kogi. Kogi State, yes, last week in Yagba. A whole police station was 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 rich. So if you are if you are if one is a lawyer and are gone there maybe to move to get a bill or something, don't think that lawyer will huh? hold on here. And you say and, uh, you, and you are saying that, uh, uh, and let me buy uh, electronic in law reports, when the country is not, it's not stable. And like I've said before you came, that even look at the economy. Uh, the lawyers are poorly paid. The lawyers are poorly paid. Is this not a lawyer, Uncle? Is it not, is it not when the tree is standing that the bed will stay on it? When the tree is falling, where is it? If the young, our young colleagues, they are not even open chambers themselves. Who will come? The ones that have chambers. Where is the money? And when you saw this so-called big, big uh, client, now lie. In fact, the bigger they come, the stingier they are. That is the reality. Because the economy is poor.